Hi everybody, I'm head weather forecaster Philip Duncan from our web studio and we're tracking the remnants now of ex-cyclone Debbie which is unravelling now around the Queensland area. Winds are not so much of a main issue, you can see up here to the northwest nowhere near as bad as it looked yesterday, but now rain is the main issue. There could be over half a metre of rain dumped across various parts of Queensland over the next day or two. That is likely to cause some flooding. Down towards New Zealand, we've got our own low pressure system, but as you can tell, uh, nothing in comparison to that cyclone. But this storm in the Southern Ocean is pretty big, and that could be playing a little part, a little role in our weather as we head in towards the weekend. This is a map I love. This shows the uh, satellite but with colour, colourised, so you can see those big red clouds up around the tropics, but also around ex-cyclone Debbie, those are the big downpours, the big cumulus clouds. Around New Zealand, it only shows the top part, but you can see those downpours circling around in a small low that hovered around Waikato for the cricket, and Auckland as well, making for very slow traffic, slower than usual, uh, with that downpour there. But there's drier air in the Tasman, just briefly. So this map here shows the water vapour basically uh, throughout the uh, Tasman Sea, Australian area. You see the big bright white clouds, those are the, that's the area with the most amount of moisture in it, so more likely to get heavy rain where you see these big white blobs. So down around New Zealand it's not completely dry, there's been a slight shift in the humidity because we've seen this small area of low pressure move through, but there's a drier spell temporarily in the Tasman just for the next day or so around some parts of New Zealand. Now this map's an interesting one, I quite like this one. This basically shows uh, all the humidity in the air. So the areas that you see with the blue around New Zealand, like uh, Waikato and Central Plateau areas, also sliding down the east coast of New Zealand, not to mention ex-cyclone Debbie, that's humidity above 90%. No wonder there was fog at Wellington Airport earlier today, that's why. And it's a nor'easter, humid nor'easter sliding down. But the reason why it might feel a little cooler for some in the north, there's just been a little bit of a southwest change across Wednesday afternoon. All right, now over the next seven days, a key thing to note. As ex-cyclone Debbie leaves Australia, it will move out into the Tasman Sea, join forces with another front, that big Southern Ocean low we just saw. We're just going to send a fairly normal cold front up our way over the weekend, so temperatures are dropping in Southland and Otago this weekend. However, it's important to note, this is a seven-day rain map, how much is going to fall. Red means drier than average, and guess what blue means? And see the North Island? another area of wetter than average weather, potentially due to ex-cyclone Debbie around next week, next Wednesday. So that's one to monitor because there could be a whole lot of heavy rain again coming towards the country. Now a quick look at the next few days ahead. This is Thursday's setup. There's the ex-cyclone drifting down past Brisbane, they're getting some rain, Sydney's getting a little bit too. The big storm in the Southern Ocean, way down here, but you can see this line of rain sort of joining up towards Fiordland. What you'll see as we head in towards the weekend, that rain continues to intensify out in the Tasman Sea. And one other note, can you see that red line sort of tracking along? It might be a little hard to see, but that indicates this line that drops down here. It's sort of like someone punched the atmosphere, which technically it has. That's what that cyclone's done. And it's dragging down all this uh, humid, moist air down towards New Zealand. So the last map we've got here is for Saturday shows a deepening low, it shows that tropical air being pulled into it, and while the weekend around New Zealand doesn't look too bad, a bit of rain on the west coast, northwest is in other regions, and mainly dry in the North Island, it's all of this that's heading towards us for next week, and it could be pretty wet, so hopefully we can update you a little bit more as we head in towards that. For more information, weatherwatch.co.nz.